Dickie is in Brisbane this morning for the world premiere of the new Netflix hit Boy Swallows Universe. Morning, Dickie. You've spoken with the whole cast. Yes, I did indeed. Good morning once again. Yeah, look, it's based on the best, the fastest selling debut novel in Australian publishing history, a coming of age story set on the mean streets of Brisbane back in the 1980s, a coming of age story set against the backdrop of the drug trade, racial unrest and child abuse, and is loosely based on the life of acclaimed author Trent Dalton and boasts what can only be described as an all-star Aussie cast, who I spoke to about the new Netflix series, Boy Swallows Universe. The boys have experienced a lot of trauma over the years. How are you feeling right now? Um, maybe the happiest day of my life. It could well be. I'm sitting here with Travis Fimmel. I'm talking to Richard Wilkins on the Today Show. And you're wearing that shirt. And I'm wearing this shirt. <laughs> I'm pulling out this shirt and it's shining bright, Richard, because it's probably matching how I feel, yeah. I'm feeling good, mate. Yeah. This has got to be every author's dream come true, I would have thought, especially for something as personal as this. It's funny that you say that. Like, um, I've, I've written many impersonal things. And, and it's funny that the thing that was deeply, deeply personal is the thing that caught fire. That was really embarrassing. You were embarrassed? My mum was never an addict and you're not the idiot who got it hooked. Was it triggering at all to see your life flashing back before your eyes? It was when I walked on set. First day on set, it was the first day I saw Travis playing this guy who raised me, this kind of really, if there is such a thing, a really incredibly lovable heroin dealer that kind of raised my brothers and I. <laughs> but particularly seeing Felix Cameron playing Eli, dressed in the same school shirt that I wore, Richard, when I was a kid. And I dead set, I, I, um, I went up, I gave Felix a hug, and I said, I grabbed him by the shoulders and I said, are you good? I hope you're okay. <laughs> and 45 minutes later, I turned to my wife, Fiona, and I said, I've got to go. The thing that gets me is that this stuff is happening in our society. Mm, yeah, mm. and a lot of kids are going through a lot of stuff because of it too. Huge domestic abuse issues right now in this country, and I can't, I just get very moved when I think about people who might see the Frankie Bell character, which is absolutely my mum. How's that make you feel? Yeah, stop it, I'm gonna see you. He told is your... me he's gonna make me cry in front of Richard Wilkins. Oh, got him, I think. I'm not gonna cry in himself. front of Richard Wilkins. It's a fact. There's just amazing single moms just powering through. And I just can't wait for people to see this and go, sometimes there is the light and sometimes it gets good. Now I'm not yeah. crying. I'm not and crying. You're giving them hope. Mum, what are you doing here? Shelley Huffman's mum had to take her to the doctor, so I volunteered. Why didn't you tell me? You're 13. Eli, I don't have to ask your permission to work at the school canteen. Phoebe, you're fantastic in this. Thank you very much. You must feel very proud of the work, do you? Yeah, I'm, I'm stoked. I loved making this so much, and it's always nice to then watch it and it also be as good as the experience as it was making it. When you A-listers get together, it must sort of bring out the best in you, I, I, I would suggest. Yes, yeah. I mean, look, every set's different, Richard. Like, probably every interview's different. This set had an energy to it, and I think, and I think there's that sort of hope and optimism in the book and, and in the series that was there and really present on the set. What was really nice about this job is even though I think the story is so universal, there was something just so Australian, and I felt like we kind of all, at least I'm gonna speak for myself, indulged in the Australianness of it. Like, I mean, my costume was like Havianas and like boy shorts. I all but had like a Mambo t shirt on. Like, it was just so Australian. Mate, it was so 80s. It was, it was like so Australian. Some of the stuff. I mean, I don't even think you were born in the 80s. 89. Okay, so yeah. straight in. But, you know, some of the stuff where you're like, I forgot about that yeah. and those things. You stay here, they'll catch you and they'll put you in care like they did me when I was a young nipper, and you can see how well that worked out. Trevor's, it's quite a world to be stepping into as an actor. It's a, a, a rich tapestry to be messing around with. I mean, tell me what you drew on. Well, I drew on a script. It was just a ridiculously entertaining script. And then um, I was just blown away when I got on set and saw the kids act. Little Felix, who plays oh. Eli and, and, and Lee, they just, um, they do an amazing job. So talented. Definitely outshone all of us. And um, I'm just so proud and happy for them. You know a cracking yarn when you see one or when you write one. W what's so special about the story? I think what's special is Trent. I'm just trying to be practical, that's You're all. You're being a coward. Felix, what was it like taking on Trent's life story? Mm, yeah, his story has connected so many people, so it's really cool to be in it. I can go, you know, I was in that. How old are you? Uh, 14. What's it like working with absolute legends of 
the industry. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a privilege to work with someone just so experienced. You know, he's been going for a very, very, very long time, so... <laughs> Take it easy. <laughs> you must feel blessed to be part of so much great I'm stuff. I'm a very grateful bloke. <laughs> Congratulations. Enjoy it all, mate. Thank you. <laughs> it is a wonderful book, and this Netflix series is just quite fabulous. All seven episodes of Boy Swallows Universe drop tomorrow. It's well worth a look, you guys. Ask Dickie. Great oh, talking to them all. That was fabulous. I can't wait to see it now, Dickie. Thank you. Hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God. <laughs> Carl. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?